What is up guys, Flossing Missiles here. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I bought a Nissan 350Z. So I wanted something I could drift. I'd be replacing Jap crap my old Drift Miata. And don't get me wrong, I love the Miata as a platform, but it can be severely underpowered on a stock power. Stock power is very important to me because how do you keep a car reliable? Keep it stock. So I definitely did want to get something with a little more power. So I know what you drift guys are thinking, buy a Nissan 240SX. Well I have, I've actually owned four Nissan 240s and they're great little cars, but uh, nowadays, 25 years old and the price of them is just insane. You can't, you can't touch a 240 for like less than four grand now. And uh, like, like I said, they're 25 years old. So like the wiring has been outside for 25 years. All the rubber's 25 years old. They're just an older car. I mean, I do definitely uh, respect that car. It's a drift legend, but not what I'm looking for. So I had a few options that were rear wheel drive, made good power and, you know, kind of proven as drift cars. I was thinking a Nissan 350Z, a G35, FRS, BRZ, and the Hyundai Genesis. Also, I was looking to spend around $2,000 and I uh, was definitely looking for something that was wrecked because you're not really gonna find any of those cars for less than $2,000 unless they've been in some kind of collision or they're just total buckets. So, if it's hitting the front or hitting the back, no big deal, cut it off to it, not really worried about it. Next, I hopped on Craigslist and started looking for these cars. I came across a 2009 V6 Hyundai Genesis. It's around 300 horsepower, rear wheel drive, nice little car, you know? I uh, went to go look at it, but it was just too far gone. The, the strut tires on the front were just totally pushed back. It was in a head-on collision. And uh, they're asking 1800 bucks for it. It was a decent car, but it would need a lot more work than I wanted to put into it. So that one was out of the question. Also something to note, there's not as much aftermarket support for the Genesis. There is quite a bit, but um, not as much as like the FRS or the 350Z. So a few weeks later, an FRS popped up for $2,000 that had been in a head-on collision as well. And it was actually a pretty nice car. And uh, I think it still like ran and drove and all that stuff. It just been wrecked in the front. So like hood, core support, fenders, all that stuff was just crunched radiator and AC condenser, all that. Just everything in the front was trash. So I'd have to cut it off and rebuild it and um, get all new accessories for the front. But I was totally down for that. $2,000, it was not bad at all. So I hit the dude up right away and I said, you know, hey, I'll come get it. I got cash, I'll come get it right now. I said, well, there's someone already coming to get the car right now. So if they don't buy it, I'll give you a call back. And I was bummed because I was like, that car is going to be gone. So yeah, sure enough, uh, I texted him later. I was like, so did it sell? And he said, yeah, it sold. So I was bummed that I didn't get the FRS because I definitely like the FRS look compared to the Genesis and the 350Z. I think it's the best looking car out of those three. So the following morning, I wake up uh, kind of early. I don't know. I think I woke up like around seven ish. And I check Craigslist for, I go through all three of those 350Zs, Genesis's, and uh, FRS's and BRZ's. And, uh, a 350Z popped up uh, and it was in Chino. So it was like really close to like Riverside County area. So super close, um, 1400 bucks. It had been hit in the rear. I went ahead and drove over there to check on it. And you guys saw that video. That was just a video uploaded not too long ago. But yeah, I purchased that car and I was stoked on it. It's like 300 horsepower. It's the 35th anniversary edition Nissan 350Z. Rear wheel drive, tons of aftermarket support for it. And uh, yeah, just a great deal, really. I've already got the car smogged, past smog, all that stuff's good. So that's how I ended up with the Nissan 350Z. Honestly, I wasn't even that crazy about the looks of the car compared to the FRS and the Genesis. I thought it was the worst looking one. I think it looks like a giant um, Audi TT, like a 2003 Audi TT. Not my favorite looking car, but glad I got it. 300 horsepower, it's a 35th year anniversary edition, has a bunch of cool stuff on the inside, and it runs and drives. So uh, you can't ask for much more. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I was just kind of explaining why I got the Z. I know it's kind of weird because I am a Miata guy and I got a Z. But I've also had 240s. I've had all other kinds of cars as well. And not just uh, Miatas. Anyways, if you like this week's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to see more car content. And thank you guys so much for watching.